Please be seated. In the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost, Amen. On this, the opposite day of Christmas, we are reminded of the holiness of the name of Jesus. The name given to him in heaven, bestowed in him on earth by an angel at the time of the Annunciation, is now given to us, particularly through the Feast of the Circumcision. It is unfortunately all too common for that name to be blasphemed, to be called into question, and to be used even as a curse word or an expression of agitation. This, to us, should be unacceptable. It should be unacceptable in the workplace. It should be unacceptable in the home. It should be unacceptable for us in the same way that other religions would cry to heaven if their names of their false gods were used in vain for us to follow suit. It is staggering that we would not consider that to be of primary importance to our lives, beginning at home. With the naming of the child in the manger, we see God placing dominion upon 
himself, subjecting himself to something that is common to us all through baptism. When we come to name a child at the baptismal font, the parents are taking responsibility and ownership over that child. Just as we saw Adam in the Garden of Eden naming the animals and Eve as a sign of dominion over those things. With the naming of the Christ child, we see exactly the opposite. For this name does not originate on earth, but rather in heaven. To save, Savior, is written into the history of the world from its very creation. That in that act of creation, the ultimate act of dominion, God sets in motion the very means by which we will be saved. That action now takes place on a daily basis at our altars. And in so doing, we are to remember that holy name. We are to sanctify it. We are to use it with care. When we remember the Jews of the Old Testament were so afraid of accidentally invoking the name of God, Yahweh, that they found all sorts of circumlocutions, that it was such a holy name in itself, a name that gives life to everything, that they dared even point to it with their finger on the page, and instead used a little silver finger on a stick for fear that the name that could create could also destroy. Because that name is the name of God, who has dominion over us all. We would do well then to remember that name, to hallow that name, and never let it cross our lips as a sign of agitation with that created universe. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost.